Okay, next up is um, improvements of the Euler's method. So for this, we're going to learn uh, two new methods, which what we call as midpoint method, or also known as improved polygon method. And the other one is Yun's method. Okay, so for the first one is, we call it as midpoint method. And this is a very simple modification of the Euler's method uh, in order to improve the estimate of the slope which is the dy dx. So the first procedure is we need to predict a value of y at the midpoint of the interval. Okay, midpoint of the interval. So let's say uh, your first data is uh, 0 and this is your x and y is 1 and your second data is 2 and we need to predict what is the value of y for 2. So midpoint of the interval means this one. This is a temporary point that we need to create. So the midpoint between 0 and 2 is 1. Okay, So we have to predict a value of y at the midpoint. So we need to predict this temporary value of the midpoint. But our main, main uh, target is to solve for this one, for this value of y when x equals to 2. This is just an example, just to uh, explain to you what does it mean by the midpoint of the interval. So this is what we call it as y um, at the midpoint of the interval, which is i plus half. So for this one is y i plus 1, right? So it equals to y i, the previous y, plus the slope h over 2. The step size is divided by 2. And now that we have obtained our y i plus half, we can then predict value. Okay, the predicted value is used to calculate a slope at the midpoint. So, and then we use this value. Now that we have our um, xi plus half and yi plus half, we have to use uh, this data, the midpoint data, to calculate uh, the slope at the midpoint, meaning the slope for this data. And then we use this slope in order to find what is the value of um, of the y when x equals to 2, um, the one that we are looking for. Lah, all right. So this slope is then used to extrapolate linearly from xi to xi plus 1. So we use this slope to actually find what is the value of y when xi plus 1. So yi plus 1 equals to yi plus the slope here times h. Okay, let's look at the example. Use midpoint method to solve this equation. Okay, so this is already in the derived in the derivative form. Alright, so this is the slope. This is already the slope dy dx. So range is x equals to 0 to 2 and step size is 0.5. So first and foremost you just need to list what are your data points. So the first one is 0 and Initial condition, when x equals to 0, y equals to 1. So, uh, your step size is 0 0.5. So, the next point should be 0 0.5. And then 1.0, 0, 1.5, 2.0. Because it says here that x from 0 to 2. Okay, so this is the step size. So, you need to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 y's here. What are the values for all these y's? So first and foremost, you need to calculate what is the midpoint interval here. What is the point here? So the midpoint between 0 0.5 and 0 is 0 0.25. Okay, so we need to calculate what is the y here. So using this equation, for the yi plus half equals to yi plus the slope at the initial condition, this is initial condition, all right? This one. And then h over 2. So, this one just substitute yi, which is 1. This one. yi equals to 1 plus the slope. Using this equation, you have to calculate the slope. And you just need to um, plug in the value of 0 and 1 into this equation. Okay, so F01, this is the slope. So how do you calculate this? From this equation. So just substitute 
y here is 1, x is 0, minus 1.2 times y here is 1. So you will get this as the slope. And just substitute this value into back into this equation. So 1 plus this one is negative 1.2 times 0 0.5 over 2. So this is the step size. So you get 0 0.7. And now that you got the slope, uh, sorry, not the slope, the value of yi plus half. Now that you have identified your midpoint interval is 0 0.25 and 0 0.7 here. Okay, 0 0.25 and 0 0.7. So you need to calculate the slope at this point. So the slope at this point, you just substitute all this 0 0.25 and 0 0.7 back into that uh, derivative formula. So you get this slope. For this midpoint and then you need to use this midpoint slope to calculate the value for your yi plus 1 so yi plus 1 equals to yi plus f uh, the slope here and the step size is we use the same it's no longer h over 2 please this one is only to calculate the midpoint so you need to stick with the h here no longer h over 2 so this is just a simple euler general form okay so yi is the initial condition 1 plus the slope here times 0 0.5 so then only you get your answer for the uh, second data 0 0.601875 so this is 0 0.6 what is that again 0 0.18 Zero, 1 okay now it's time to calculate for the third data again you need this temporary middle uh, point between the interval okay why don't you try this on your own and see whether you can get um, the answers until 2.0